Hi, this is Dana Rocky again. And in a previous video, I talked about all the new technology that we have in our practice and um, and that's available to us in dentistry today. And I, I know technology has invaded almost every aspect of our lives. Why wouldn't we think it'd be in a dental office too? And well, it is. We um, have something we call a three-dimensional cone beam x-ray unit that uh, in one pass of the x-ray head gives us about a 15 centimeter cubic information of data and we can use that data to do many things. We can look at specific teeth, we can look at sinuses, we can look at airways for uh, sleep apnea issues, we can um, look at the temporomandibular joint, we can look at all sorts of things. This was an interesting case that came through our office and, I, and we were able to use that machine to make a definitive diagnosis to, as to what was going on and ultimately help the patient. Here the patient came in with an upper right first molar um, that has a, had a crown on it and um, it was sensitive. It had a root canal done, but uh, shortly after that, it developed some biting tenderness. N nothing horrific to wake them up at night, but uh, normally when we do a root canal on a tooth and a crown on it, it, we'd like to think it was healthy and you wouldn't even know the tooth is in your head and everything is fine. But in this particular case, it wasn't and she still couldn't really bite on the tooth. She quote unquote knew it was there. Well, I took a um, standard x-ray picture as we do here, a periapical picture as we call it, and around um, the tooth has three roots, one here, one here, and one here, kind of like a tripod. And um, one of the roots, which was outside towards the cheek and towards the front of the mouth, we call that the mesiobuccal root. To me, the, uh, there was a little dark area around the tip of the root. Now, the root canal looks like it was done pretty well. And when we have a, a root canal that looks pretty well, and that, pretty well done on x-ray, and it's still having tenderness, especially with a darkened area around the tip of the root, we get highly suspicious that in that particular tooth, there just might be another tube going down in here, another, as we call it, canal going down. So instead of the three canals, we may actually have four. The mesiobuccal root here is sort of famous for having a second canal in there, which we call mesiobuccal number two. So that was my thought. So uh, off to the root canal specialist, she went, and um, after we did one thing, we took a picture here of uh, her tooth and um, with a three-dimensional x-ray machine, and we were able to look at it, and as you can see, I can actually digitally with the software here manipulate the data so that I can, um, even though that tooth is a tripod, the roots go up like that, I can look at, sequentially look at um, all the different cuts of views going up the root here. And so I did, in fact, find the three canals that were filled. Those are the, the three white spots on here. And in particular, we're looking at the mesiobuccal canal, which is this one towards the front, towards the outside. And you'll know that at this particular picture here, the root form at that point is an oval shape. Rather than round like a pencil, it's oval shaped. And the canal that was filled is shifted way over towards the one side of the oval. So here we've got an oval shaped root at that, at that particular portion and we see the canal that was filled was displaced almost all the way over to this side where the cheek is. Well, in my mind, if that's the case, we have an oval, oval shaped root. We have one canal that is here. Um, in many, many cases, we've got another canal on the other side of the oval. Now, if the uh, oval had one very large filling material right in the center of it, we wouldn't be so suspicious, but in this particular case we were. So off to the root canal specialist she went and um, after getting down in there and spending some time uh, inside the tooth to, to look at it and to work with it, yes indeed another canal was found. So this particular tooth on the upper right, her upper right first molar, normally we refer to that as number three, did have four canals in it. So um, upper molars often have four canals, and that's only was um, confirmed by the uh, root canal specialist after we sent her there by viewing the three-dimensional image that we have here. So we go back and we look at that, and here's a rare opportunity to take a photo of this tooth. And as you can see here, here are the three, the um, orange, light orange color are the three canals that were filled previously and they look pretty darn good. But here's this uh, pinkish 
Um, I've got a perch of filling material here in the fourth canal. So it's a pretty interesting, but I, I, as I was redoing the crown, I stopped and I actually got out my interroll camera because I wanted everyone to see and document exactly what happened here. So this is a case where the three-dimensional x-ray unit pretty much confirmed the root form, the previous filling material displaced to the one side, giving us a real good indication that we have a fourth canal. So the root canal specialist um, hunted and found it. We did have, in fact, that. We put a new crown on it and close it up, and the patient doesn't even know that uh, the tooth is in her mouth. So here's a case of technology actually helping the patient, um, you know, um, his welfare. She has a healthy tooth now, and she's a happy person, and we're happy for her. So thank you very much.